It's over. The doors are locked, and the 2009 holiday shopping season has ended. News 13's Jeff Todd hit the stores at closing time to ask shoppers why they waited until the last minute. Michael, many procrastinating shoppers like myself flooded into stores today. And there were a few common themes for why they waited until the last minute. Well, I love shopping with my family and friends. It's great. There were swarms of people inside Cottonwood Mall in Albuquerque late this afternoon. How much stuff have you bought? Quite a bit. And this is within 30 minutes. You have more shopping to do? Yes. With sale signs everywhere, shoppers say the deals were worth the wait. I haven't had an opportunity to shop till today. It's kind of getting some better deals. It seems to me I'm getting a little bit more better deals and able to get a little bit more stuff. The crowds even surprised some stores. Eric Contreras has worked at Express for 11 Christmas Eves. I was definitely surprised by all the last minute shoppers we had today. It definitely showed up. Contreras, a last minute shopper himself, says his store was unexpectedly busy all week and thinks this could be a sign the economy is getting better. The mall closed at 6, so we went to one of the last stores still open tonight. Target on Paseo del Norte didn't close until 7. Michael D'Angelo was buying some last-minute gifts as the lights turned out. I have some Legos and have a bike for my little girl. She's been asking Santa for a bike for the whole year. Many of the shoppers we spoke with said they had to wait for the same reason as D'Angelo. Well, I just got paid yesterday, <laughs> so that had a lot to do with it. I'm happy Target's still open till 7. <laughs> There were more last-minute shoppers this year. One national retail group found 70% of shoppers hadn't finished buying their gifts as of Sunday night. Last year, 80% of shoppers had finished before the last week. Michael, back to you. Okay, that same national retail group thinks holiday shopping revenues will be up about 1.5% this year, while another prominent group thinks the numbers will be down 1%.